Pep Province back at the half, NJIT trailing Brown University by two, but I have a very special guest at the half, NJIT President Dr. Joel Bloom. First of all, it's great seeing you. Happy New Year to you. And a Happy New Year to you, Matt, and to our men's basketball team. Well, let's hope they can start with a win. We start conference play on Saturday, but the New Year should be a special one here at NJIT. The construction, the building going on here has got to be exciting. Three new buildings, a brand new parking deck. Talk about what's gone on here the last couple of years at NJIT. So we're doing about $300 million worth of construction. Of course, our largest project is the WEC, Wellness and Event Center. It'll house an arena for 3,500 uh, fans as well as a conferencing center for 4,500 participants. Uh, we're the largest engineering school in the greater metropolitan area, largest college of computing science, largest college of architecture and design. So professional groups, professional associations want to do conferences here, training. That's the purpose of the conferencing center and of course the arena to support our outstanding men and women's basketball teams. We've had some terrific uh, athletic accomplishments here at NJIT over the past several years. But let's hone in on, on the best reasons why to come here. We know about the commitment to excellence, the engineering department. What, what have you been most proud about here during your time as president at NJIT? Well, to see our enrollment growth, so we're over 11,000 students. We've hired 100 new faculty over the past four years. To look at the academic credentials of our students, of our nearly 300 athletes, uh, I think we're at about a 3.0 GPA. Probably about 70 of them are in the Honors College. So these are truly scholar athletes. They practice, show up for games, do their work in the classrooms and the labs. And of course, most importantly, when they leave here, they will have three, four job offers per student. The demand for our students and science, technology, engineering, mathematics far exceeds the supply out there. So we love them while we're, they're here. We love to see them get great jobs. And of course, we love to see them as alums coming back. And we have a lot of alums here this evening. Yeah, I noticed the family tight-knit here at NJIT, and you love the fact that the job economy for your students has been outstanding, very good source of pride. But let's talk basketball. You've enjoyed this NJIT run on the hardwood the last several years. I see it pop up and down around some of the, the road trips. Talk about the pride you've had in the guys playing out here on the court for NJIT. You get to meet a lot of the students, and I've, as, as I've observed, particularly when they're on the road, I am amazed to see how many of the students are walking around with books, notes, listening to audio recordings of what's going on in the classroom. Um, the game we've been, I don't think there's been a game in the past three or four years that we've not been competitive in, in many, many of them against nationally ranked teams. So it's a joy getting to know the students, to see the hard work they, they put in, the effort on the court, and then to know how well they're going to do upon graduating from NJIT. Competitive on the court and in the classroom. Dr. Bloom, thank you for your time. Thank you, Matt. You have a great new year. Take you care. as well. More to come up second half as well in a moment here on ESPN3.